ready for school. We got Preston, <coughs> Brody, Daniel. You're not Daniel. Hi. Yeah, you're Bye. Riley. <laughs> Daniel's taking Riley's spot over there. Uh, oh, <laughs> good job, my minion. He's got on Daniel's backpack. Job, Daniel goes minion. to put on this sweater, and he totally snagged his backpack. He's my minion. So I'm ready. He's my so minion. I got the shirt, the pants, the bag. I'm ready. But not the shoes. Yeah, you need shoes. Yeah, not the shoes. You got to get Daniel back his backpack. He's got to go to school. Good minion. Good minion. You yeah. tried, Riley. You tried. <laughs> He's got to go to school. When you're four years old, you can go to school. No, he has to wait a little bit longer because his birthday's in December. Old? Almost when he's six. Oh. He's still got time. All right, I give Daniel his backpack. I know. You don't have to do that. We were born in the summer. He's like, no. <laughs> Look, he's back up to me. He said, no. Poor minion. Poor Riley. It's okay, Riley. Go to school in the next day. Oh, yeah. You go to okay. school? <laughs> now we have Preston, Daniel, and Brody. Oh, I got a speech today. That's Me okay. too. Bye, guys. Bye. Tell them bye. Say so see you later. Well, you don't have to be so depressed. Say so see you later. <laughs> Good Monday morning, guys. Cleaning up Legos. Riley got into the twins Legos, um, Preston's matter of fact, <laughs> and trying to make sure all the pieces are there so Preston doesn't know. <laughs> the things we do as parents. I just don't want to hear the kids complain. They have complained about everything all weekend. So much that, I mean, and then just the fight is just like so much that it was annoying. Like with the Pinewood Derby race. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I had hopes that all the children would win, you know, but of course it can't be possible and that's like really unrealistic and kind of wrong of me to even be like, I hope my three children that are participating in the Pinewood Derby race win. Um, but you know, I mean, they worked hard on the cars and it was their first race and I just kind of hope that maybe... I don't know, maybe they would have got a trophy or something for all their hard work and stuff. But they did receive a medal and a certificate, so, you know, that, that should be plenty enough. Because um, there's lots of kids there, and, you know, they didn't win. But I was really excited when Brody won uh, first place in his class. Because he's never won anything like that. He's never won a trophy. Um, he has some certificates and stuff um, from, like doing stuff out like from the church um and school and stuff like that but he's never won like a trophy or a medal <clears throat> and i thought well that's great and it would be like a real confidence builder for him and it would make him feel good you know um, because he does he has low self-esteem and sometimes he gets down on himself and then by the way that bless you by the way that his older brothers treat him he's like nobody likes me and it's just like it's heartbreaking at times because he's so sweet and he was saying he wished everybody could have won a trophy and then me and Dell were telling the twins, you know, you should tell him good job. And Daniel went back there and told him good job on, you know, his Pinewood Derby thing. And Brody, he was so happy. And he went around Sunday telling everybody that. He didn't go around saying, I won first place. He was, Daniel told me good job. He was so happy that Daniel had actually said good job. So that meant more to him than the, the trophy or the medal or the certificate or anything. So... That was just really amazing, but their attitudes just, I know you guys have heard me talk about them, but it's just got to the point where I'm just like fed up with them. So, and it seems to be Daniel and Brody that duke it out more, and Preston gets upset with Brody too, but Daniel and Brody are always head to head. They just, they're the middle children. <laughs> they just don't, they don't get along. So I told him, I said, you know what, I'm just, I'm over this, I'm tired of this. So, I'm going to make Daniel sleep in Brody's room for the next two weeks to a month to try to, not force them, that's not the right word, but try to encourage them to get along and see that they they like the same things. They're not that much different, you know. Um, and also, Riley is going to swap into Preston's room with him. Um, so, maybe... Maybe it'll get him out of our room and he'll learn kind of how to sleep by himself. Like last night he did leave our room and go sleep in his own bed. Um, but this morning I found him in the twins bed. So 
you know, as I'm probably going to be talking forever, but it's kind of what happened over the weekend. Just lots of craziness, mm -hmm. but just kids are kind of... Do, do you guys have any tips on how to get, like, siblings to get along, whether they're the same gender or not? Because I am like, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I'm going crazy because they won't get along, and they're just like... It just seems like it's getting worse, you know? So if you have any tips, let me know. As of right now, um, things are being taken away, and we're going to swap out the room. So today I'm going to wash uh, sheets on everybody's bed because they just need to be done, and because um, they're swapping beds. Preston and Riley will be in the twins room. Brody and Daniel will be in Brody's room. Um, and we're going to go from there and see how that works. So, uh, fingers crossed that works out and doesn't backfire in my face. over there playing and laundry is going I already finished uh, cleaning up Brody and uh, Riley's bedroom getting the bed made I just need to put the pillowcases on the pillows and vacuum the floor I end up cleaning that up I don't know why I just honestly I think I'm being pretty nice about the whole situation um, I kind of just sort of cleaned it up for one it needed to be cleaned up for two no wonder my legs are hurting I forgot I had it turned up. Anyways, um, anyways, I cleaned it up because it needed to be cleaned up because I didn't do all that work in there before. 
just for it to be trashed. But also to kind of sort of be nice, and that way Daniel has nothing to complain about. Like, well, his room is a mess. I don't want to stay in here. <laughs> So it's like, okay, well, his room's clean. The sheets are clean. I even put, um, because when we bought the comforters, all of the kids had twin size beds and Riley was still in his crib. Well, of course, he grew out of his crib. Um, but I even put two twin comforters on there so I wouldn't have to hear Daniel say, well, he's taking the cover or, you know, some issue. I don't want to share a blanket with him. Everything and anything. Like, I am making sure there is nothing Daniel can complain about, to be honest. So... Got the sheets washed, um, Lysol and everything, cleaned the room, vacuumed it, gonna put uh, clean pillowcases on there. Next is uh, Preston's room, I sound out of breath because I'm doing this bike, but um, anyways, I'm gonna do Preston and Daniel's room, took the sheets off their bed, lysol it, getting everything washed. Um, I'm gonna try to straighten that up just a little bit, put things away that of course I don't want Riley messing with, um, vacuum that. And then I'll probably do the dishes in the sink. I have the ones in the dishwasher washing. They'll need to dry and I need to put up some and then wash some. Um, yes, I know. Thank you. Things like letting me know I went over time. Anywho, um, so yeah, lots of cleaning and stuff. My father-in-law just called me. And you know, there's days where, like today, where I'm like, oh, my kids, they're doing this. They're driving me nuts. You know, saying like, you know, they're fighting and stuff like that, which they do. But then when you hear like other parents talk about how their kids fight and like to the extent of it or how their kids treat them, my kids are pretty good. <laughs> um, my my father-in-law and my mother-in-law have foster children and they have been through a lot. I mean, a lot. Um, lots of, lots of families, lots of abusive situations, everything. So, you know, they're, and they've grown up like that. They've grown up in the system. Um, so, you know, when some things happen, like with his kids, um, like when he tries to tell them you need to do your chores, the way that they react to him is like 10 times worse than the way my kids react. So, you know, I really, I guess I really shouldn't complain about my kids duking it out or, or how they're. I don't know how they are, because, I mean, they don't disrespect me, thank goodness. I mean, they could disrespect me, they could spit on me, they could kick me, bite me, etc., and they don't. <laughs> um, they just kind of, I don't know, they just do what kids do, I guess. It's just, they complain. They complain a lot, to be honest. Oh, it says low battery. Anyways, but they, it could be a lot worse is what I'm saying, so I guess I really shouldn't. Shouldn't complain about my kids because my kids are not bad kids in no way, shape, or form. I'm not saying my father-in-law's kids are bad kids, but what I'm saying is it could be a lot worse. So if you're ever thinking, oh, my kids are so bad, talk to some other people that have kids. And um, you probably will come back with the whole thing, my kids are not that bad. So I feel good about the way that I'm parenting them. They just have a few little issues that we're going to get worked out. We are. We're going to get that fixed. Anyways, I'm going to finish up on the bike here because my arm is starting to hurt from holding this camera. And, and get on with whatever else I'm doing. It's 12 o'clock. Riley and I are finally getting around to having lunch. Ugh, I hate when one thing leads to another. <laughs> Washing sheets leads to cleaning bedrooms, to organizing, to vacuuming, putting stuff away, and then noticing that their stupid beanbag chairs just drive me insane, sitting at the end of their bed. So I decided to put them in the hall closet, which leads to all that baby girl clothes that I had saved in hopes that I would already be pregnant or have had a baby by now, but I have not. So I'm taking them out of the closet and I don't know what to do with them just yet because I have all this stuff that's still over there that is giveaway. Um, not the bike, obviously, but like the ride on toys and the baby doll and stuffed animals and just some toys. So I'm kind of like, should I just go ahead and give those clothes away? Which, if I do, all that will leave me with, like, baby stuff is one of those little bitty high chairs you put in a seat at, like, your table and a crib. So, I'd pretty much have given away all my baby stuff. So, I don't know. It's kind of like, am I ready to part with it? Am I not? I don't know. Sometimes, I guess, you just, you just have to say goodbye. You just can't keep holding on to things because it doesn't really look like there's going to be another one and I've just gotta 
I got to come to terms with it, you know. I think slowly but surely I am coming to terms with it. I think some days are harder than others. And I think vlogging every day, you guys do see the battle because there's some days where I'm like, yeah, I'm okay with just having four boys. And then there's other days where, like, I see, like, a baby girl or I think, oh, I'd love to have a little girl and, you know, do that or just the thought or something, you know. I just, I mean, it's, it's definitely a struggle, so, but... I don't know. I don't know if I should just hang on to it just a little bit longer or not. So I have it just kind of sitting in the hallway. But I'm trying to get things organized and cleaned up. Um, spring cleaning again. But I think it's this nice weather. I think there's something about this weather that just makes you want to clean up and get organized and put stuff away. And I'm kind of hoping that I can knock everything out today. So I won't have stuff to mess with the rest of the week. And maybe I can actually do something else. Because I spend my whole entire week cleaning up and then activities or videos or whatever I want to do get pushed to the back burner so we'll see though but we're having um just a pizza for lunch yep and you're having some v8 juice is that juice good it is huh it's like mango or something is it pretty good he loves those v8 juices he wants me to blow on his pizza so better blow on his pizza and eat mine because I'm, I'm starting to get really really hungry laundry going. I feel like that's all I've done today is just wash laundry and clean and clean and clean and put things back. Ooh, my day is like almost over and all I have to say is like what I've done for which is well what I've done for the day which is clean. Nothing exciting but anyways I decided to come in here and uh, straighten up a little bit my art area so I can hopefully try to do something soon but it's not going quite as well as I had hoped mainly because I made this like little bitty shelf up here for all my paints and now I'm getting like too many paints <sighs> so it's getting a bit confusing so I'm trying to make them all fit but I need like some kind of a paint cabinet, lipstick shelf, and oof, this goes on and on. But, I'm trying to put these up though by color. Anyways, Riley's napping, thank goodness. He's laying there watching We Are Bear Bears or something. And then he decided to take a nap. I was like, yeah, okay. Sure. So while he was napping, I was washing sippy cups because I have them bleaching. I do that just so often. Just just keep them clean and stuff and kill anything that happens to be lingering. And then I'm always like, where's the last cup? There's always one cup that I cannot find. So I'm pretty sure it's not my car, but who knows. Anyways, I think we're going to have leftover um, ham and beans for dinner. That's what we had last night. Um, so I think we'll just have that again tonight. I really don't feel like cooking anything to be honest with you after spending all day cleaning everybody's room like that's what I did I cleaned everybody's bedroom I mean that's what I did all day Ugh. and then organizing a few things in the hall closet and stuff so Ugh. now I've moved on to this area hopefully I get everything in working order because I want to be able to paint like I haven't even finished my wall of my like Disney princesses and stuff. I haven't even finished that. And it's driving me nuts because I'll, you know, every time I walk in here and I'm doing something or putting something back like I am now, I see that and it's like, probably like something's missing. So I need to get that finished. So I'm trying to clean everything up because it is getting warmer. So I will hopefully be able to come in here and paint. Um, Spend a little bit of time doing a few things for myself instead of just running around like a chicken with my head cut off for everybody else. So, and I have no idea where some of this stuff goes. I just don't have space. I don't have room. I did set this little area up over here for um, recording, like quick recording, and that's not working out too well. So, I might just 
can that. Ugh. Nothing's working out. But that's how it is when you have a family and sometimes you spread yourself a little too thin, which I do a lot. Okay, well, that uh, load of laundry is done. Thank goodness. Well, my table looks a lot better anyways. I can actually sit here and paint now. I guess I'm going to get that load of laundry out and put it in this comforter. For dinner, we're going to have leftover um, ham and beans. I just put it over in this pot here. I have it heating. Uh, we did it in the crock pot yesterday. We just did some pinto beans with some onions, some green chilies, some ham, just some seasonings. Got that heating. I have my comb bread here in the oven. I made extra so nobody will fight over it and that way we don't have very very thin cornbread but um, I do it the same way every time with a splash probably about a tablespoon to two depending on how much you are making um, of oil in the bottom of my cast iron skillet turn it on to heat dump the cornbread mix over in there and then I put it in the oven and it always comes out with a really nice um, like crunchy bottom and I love that so good but that's what we're having for dinner I don't know. We're always trying to get tea. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, are you cooking? You have your clothes on backwards, you know. No, no. Are you allowed over there? Huh? Are you allowed over there? No, you're not. He's like, mm-hmm. Goodness. Anyways. Ugh. No, 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 sir. Riley, hush. We're praying. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. I hope it earned you the food we're about to eat, all the blessing you bestowed upon us, and keep the Shawnot family, Miss Maria, the Cooper family, and all the people that have played last Sunday and plays this. Just thank you for them. Amen. Amen. Riley, you need to be quiet when we're praying. What about a birthday? Birthday. What? Birthday. Okay, I'm not sure what you're saying. Anyways, this is our dinner. Got a huge... It's nobody's birthday. <laughs> Anyways, like a big old piece of cornbread. Yes, look how thick that is. <laughs> Who... <laughs> it's nobody's birthday. I'm not sure why he's saying happy birthday, but whatever. Brody's done ate like all his cornbread to made a mess on the table. He's done ate half of his and he's done ate just about all of his. And Dell just sat down from the shower. So they love some cornbread. Hmm? Yeah, everybody loves cornbread. Everyone mm has -mm. You gonna eat your cornbread? <laughs> yeah, I am. Don't touch mine. You want me to take your soda? No. How about I take your cornbread? How about I take your There's plenty of cornbread. I made double tonight. Alright, well, you eat your cornbread. Take a bite. Show us you're eating your cornbread. Yeah. Take a bite. I'll do this. Go. Brody. Brody, that doesn't mean just eat cornbread. Okay, I'm in bed. To be honest with you guys, I'm just going to go to bed early because my head is just aching. There, Nothing is helping. I took Tylenol earlier. I, just, I feel like I have a head cold and nothing is really working. So, I'm just going to go to bed. Dale and the kids are in the living room watching TV. I'm just going to leave them at that. Um, hopefully, there won't be any problems at bedtime, but... Me and Dell are not exactly seeing eye to eye right now, as usual. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to sleep. That's probably the best thing that I can do is just go to sleep. So yeah, but I think it may just be a sinus headache or whatever. But it still just aches and aches. And I took off my nail polish. Oh my gosh, you guys. Have you ever had, like, so much nail polish, like, remover in your bottle? Like, I had just a little bit in there, and I was like, oh, well, hopefully I can get this off. I needed a couple more cotton balls worth, so tomorrow I'll have to grab some when I go to the store. I hope I feel better, and hopefully I'm not getting sick, which it wouldn't really surprise me because, um, I, I teach little kids at church, and, um, 
sometimes they cough. So it wouldn't really surprise me if if I got something. You know what I mean? So who knows though. But I'm just going to go ahead and say goodnight. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully my Tuesday will go a lot better. Put on some makeup. Do something with this hair. I washed it and it's like kind of air dried. <laughs> so we'll see. It's supposed to be pretty nice. So actually it's supposed to be pretty nice for the whole week. So hopefully I'll get to actually go outside and soak up some of that vitamin D and maybe it'll make me feel a little bit better too. But good night guys, see you tomorrow.